In this video, I will show you how to cut and make your cording. For the entire tutorial, watch video four in the playlist. And the supplies you will need will be a sewing machine, beautiful fabric, an iron, a yardstick, a soft measuring tape, a tape measurer, cording, sewing machine needles. I prefer denim needles, they sew through all layers. Presser and zipper foot, a seam ripper, a fabric marking pencil or chalk, stick pins, coordinating thread, pair of scissors. Let's go ahead and make the self cording and I'm going to use the scrap pieces of the fabric to do this. This is how I determine how much fabric you need for your cording. No matter what the size of your cording, this method will work. Take a piece of fabric wide enough to cover cording. Fold fabric over cording, leaving a half of inch past cording for seam allowance. Unfold and measure a half an inch plus a half an inch plus cording. My strip widths will be two inches wide. This is how you determine how much cording you will need to make for each pillow. My fabric was not cheap, so I'm using the excess to create cording on the straight. I will show you in another video how to make cording on the bias, but in a pinch, you can do it on the straight. Now, using your excessive fabric, you can measure your fabric strip widths. So cut your first strip and you can use that to pattern the additional strips needed for your cording. On the corner of your first strip, I'm gonna take my yardstick and angle it at a 45 degree angle. And let's cut that piece out. I'm gonna take that piece and actually flip it down where the face is down. Let's lay it on top of your other strip or another cut strip. And using that strip, we're gonna create what I call the flat bottom V. And you may be able to take a finger and actually flip that strip over and it should create one piece. Repeat this step for all strips. Let's pin in the direction that you're gonna sew where your pin will be easily removed. By creating the flat bottom V for your continuous fabric strips, it helps with the flexibility when working with your cording when done on the straight. Now let's sew all the strips together. I'm using my presser foot. Let's go ahead and press out that seam. And it should look something like that. Now at this point, we're gonna change out our foot and put on the zipper foot. They do have cording feet, but I'm from the old school. You want to seat your cording filler in the middle of your fabric strips. You wanna get right as close to your cording as possible without sticking it. Cording just takes practice. I've stuck a mini a finger, but I still have all 10. And as I'm sewing the cording, I'm giving a gentle tug at the top and I'm giving a tug at the bottom or the back side to keep it nice and tight. While keeping my cording filler in the center of my fabric strips. And there we have it, your cording. Let's move on to attaching our cording. Let's find the center of your future pillow. I'm actually making my pillows 17 inches. My pillow form is a down form. It is 18 inches. And I typically make them one inch smaller so that they are nice and full. So we're gonna pin the top and the bottom and now the sides at exactly 17 inches apart. Now we're gonna start the cording at the bottom of your pillow. And I usually do it where it starts in the center. Lining up the stitch line of your cording, place it directly above your marking stick pin. Let's add another pin right along the stitch line of the cording. And where your next stay pin on the side lines up with your cording, let's make that first cut. Making about five to six cuts that stop short of your stitch line. This is to ensure that when you turn the corner with your cording, your pillow is going to line up at your desired width. And mine is the 17 inches. And by doing that, this allows you to have a nice, crisp 90 degree angle for each corner. Once the 90 degree corner is created. Place one stick pin on the leading edge of the cording, just above the turn to hold it into place. 
Now flipping your pillow around and now let's go ahead and pin the other side. The next stay stick pin, we still want to line it right up at 17 inches, whatever your desired size is. Now let's go ahead and measure. My stitch line is at 17. I'm going to make my next cut line at 17. I'm going to go ahead and cut in five slits. That's usually enough to give that cording some flexibility. And again, I'm able to turn the corner and create that nice crisp 90 degree turn for each corner of my pillow. Do that for the other two sides. And let's jump down to the bottom. I was moving so fast I took the stitches out before I knew it, but you want to backtrack on some of your stitches. If your cording is longer than mine, just go ahead and trim it back. Trim it back after you first measure. You only need maybe about two to three inches of overlap. You want to open up one side of your, your cording and cut the filler to where the two tips meet and touch, like so. Now you're gonna have a raw edge. You wanna take that edge and you're gonna fold it over because you don't want that exposed. Let's put a stay pin and that's how you end your cording. Now I always start with my closure behind my zipper foot because if I have to make any adjustments, I'm able to. Let's go ahead and stitch as close as we can to the cording. And when you get to the corners, you want to leave your needle buried, lift your foot and rotate your fabric. Just kind of press that cording down so that you can be right close to the corner. Again, you want to sew as close to the cording as possible. Again, when you get to the corners, leaving the needle buried in the fabric, lift your presser foot up. You're gonna sew around all four sides. Doing the same manner to each corner. And, and keeping your fabric straight is very important. So when you get to your closure, you wanna go over that and make sure that nothing is folded back. You can roll over that pretty slow, but back stitch. And now you have one side of your pillow complete. Let's go ahead and stitch the pillow together. Notice I'm sewing with my zipper behind my sewing foot. Let's get nice and close to our cording. And guys, I have to say, this is really done a lot by feel. You wanna be as close to your cording as possible without sticking it. And once you get to the corners, you wanna definitely bury the needle again, same way that you did the cording. Lift your foot up. Don't forget to put your foot back down and get nice and tight to those corners and down the edge of the cording. Again, this is not a fast process, but of course, after you do things with practice, you will get faster. And when you get to the zipper ends, you wanna make sure that all pieces are laying down nice and flat. You don't want anything flipped up on you. And remember, I said if your zipper is too long, right here is where you'll end up trimming it off anyway. And just make sure that you backstitch over that zipper to make sure it's in place. Let's go ahead and finish up the other sides, sewing still nice and close to the cording and removing your pins in the direction that you're sewing. Once you get to the other side, again, just make sure that your fabric is laying down flat and your foot is riding over the pieces. And this is when that denim needle comes in handy. And also notice that my zipper is still very close together and not gapped open as I sew. Let's finish that up, do some back stitching, and we're almost there. And y'all, that's how you make cording for a beautiful pillow. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Of course, leave your questions or comments, and always remember to subscribe.